Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it is unusual to get two videos from me in one week, but I have a very time sensitive message and that is my F-350 build from almost three years ago is going up for sale right now on bringatrailer.com. It is an auction, so it has five days left as I record this and it is currently at $33,000. So I wanted to let you guys know because the time-lapse video did really well. I got like two and a half million views and in the comments section, it was flooded with people who were asking if the truck was for sale. Now I built this truck for my buddy Floyd. He had no intention on selling it at the time, but it's been about three years now and now he's got a hankering for a new vehicle so he decided to let it go. Since uh, I finished the project he has done a few things to it. He did change out the front radiator and fan because if you remember this thing was built in Arizona and he used to drive it around in the summer when it was 115 degrees and so he needed a little extra cooling power. He also finished the headliner that was not finished uh, with me that went to an upholstery shop for that. Now when he told me he was going to list it for sale I went back and rewatched the time lapse video and there were a lot of things that I had forgot that I'd done to that truck. It was a tremendous amount of work, but my favorite thing in the entire project was the firewall panel that I made for the new air conditioning system. Because at the time, Vintage Air did not make a direct bolt-in replacement, so I used their Gen 4 Builders Kit, where it uses these cool fittings that go through the firewall, but because that was a factory air-conditioned truck, it had this giant hole. So I made a custom panel, I then bead-rolled it to match the style of the factory firewall, and then I painted it to match. So every time I opened the hood, that was my favorite thing. Now, most people liked the fuel injected 460 that I installed but for me it was that firewall modification. Now I've got my opinions on what I think this truck will sell for but I'd be really interested to see what you guys think so in the comment section below write what you think the final hammer price will be and I guess we'll all be watching in the next five days to see what it actually goes for. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.